on today's Technobabble, using an Apple TV or a dedicated computer to drive your stage television. This is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now, here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hi, and welcome again to Tech No Babble. This is the show where every week I help you with video and graphic design for your church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, in previous videos, we've talked about uh, why you should use a cho- uh, why you should use a stage television, uh, choosing the particular make and model, some features to consider. Also, we've talked about running the cabling for a stage television. But how do you actually drive that stage television? How do you put graphics on it? Well, there are a few different ways you can do it, but I wanted to talk about uh, a couple of them today. First off, using an Apple TV. Let's talk about some of the um, reasons why you might do that. First off, it's going to be a little less expensive. Even the top of the line Apple TV is less than any but the most budget base model computer. Now, granted, you could use a Raspberry Pi, but I'm talking about a computer with Windows or OS X, something like that it's going to be less expensive than that. So that's one reason why you might choose that. Secondly, you can use the Stage 2 app for Apple TV with ProPresenter uh, 6, if that's what you want to do. ProPresenter is one of my things, so that's at least one thing that I would consider, but maybe you have uh, other ideas. You could also use the Apple TV as a display from an iPad running Keynote. That's, I believe, the way that we're doing it at my church. Uh, The pastor has his sermon notes in a Keynote presentation and then uh, just connects to the Apple TV, and that solves that problem. Another thing you can do uh, with an Apple TV is you can connect via the network So you're not running a direct cable over a long distance. You don't have to worry about the same cabling issues that you might if you've got a dedicated computer in the back of your sanctuary or even in another room. That's where ours are. And you could see how that could cause some issues given cable run distances and such. Now, you might think, well, I think I, I want a dedicated computer. So let's talk about that as an alternative to an Apple TV. First off, it's probably going to be more reliable. That's because you don't have to worry about the network. If there's network congestion, if someone decides to do something more than your network can handle, if there's just a problem on one end or the other, if someone knocks over the router, you know, unplugging it, they trip over a cord, something like that, then you don't have to worry about that issue because you've got a computer plugged directly to your stage television. So that's nice. The downside is, of course, it's going to be costlier. You're talking probably in the range of at least $300, maybe more, um, depending on where you go. You know, if you're going with a Mac Mini, probably five or six hundred dollars bare minimum. If you're going with a really high end computer, could be a couple of thousand. So it's going to be costlier than a hundred thirty, hundred fifty dollars for an Apple TV. Next, if you're going to use ProPresenter, it's going to require a site license because you're probably going to use a different computer during the praise and worship segment of the worship service on the same uh, in the same location. So you would need a um, site license for ProPresenter. Could be that with other software you'd be okay, but just something for you to consider along with the costs. And if you were going to run 
ProPresenter, you might run into this uh, problem. ProPresenter and a lot of other presentation software now isn't really designed to be run headless. What I mean by that is generally you want access to the back-end UI. You want the ability to skip slides, to go uh, wherever you need to, and doing it with the um, doing that with out any sort of UI is going to be problematic. So those are some positives and negatives, some reasons why you might want to go with an Apple TV, some reasons why you want, might want to go with the dedicated box, but I'm sure there are others. So if you have any, by all means, leave them in the comments below and then we can discuss them. If you like this content, I know that you like my blog, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com. There you can find more stuff like this, um, all about using new media and video and graphic design and pro presenter. And quite frankly, I also just ask your answer your questions. So head over there. Until next week, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Do you think I'm going to tell you to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so that you can be notified and join the contest that I've got coming up? Yeah, you're right. So why aren't you doing it? Like now. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you.